welcome to java hangout channel in this video we will see jenkins installation i mean how to download the jenkins and how to install the jenkins on a particular operating system before that uh, we will see what is the jenkins so it is a, a free source free open source uh, automation server it helps uh, automate the automate the parts of software development related to building testing and deployment it also facilitates continuous integration and continuous delivery which we use this term in devops right it is a server based system that runs in a servlet container such as apache tomcat we will see what are the prerequisites to install the jenkins so we need minimum 256 mb of ram 1 gb of hard disk and software wise since it is a java based software so we need jdk uh, so to install the jenkins uh, jdk should be installed on our system we will see that one whether uh, it is there or not i already installed uh, just we will check that one cmd type java space hyphen version okay i have uh, java 8 1.8 1 right okay i will close this one i will see how to download the jenkins so first uh, come to here type uh, jenkins download uh, you'll see very first link uh, that is a www.jenkins.io click on that uh, download jenkins link it will take us to on download page uh, scroll down the page here two flavors are there one is a long term support another one is a weekly build so generally we choose long term support uh, so that it is a stabilized version okay this is a stabilized version so here so many options are there these are uh, specific to operating system if you are going to install jenkins on mac we have to choose mac os if you are using linux uh, red dot or else ubuntu debian but in this demo we are going to install jenkins on windows so we have to use uh, windows related jar file uh, var file for example uh, yes so I, I just click on this one it will uh, automatically starts uh, downloading the software uh, since i already downloaded i am opening directly that folder so this is the one just right click this one extract it will automatically extract the zip file okay so here uh, zip file contains uh, jenkins.ms file msi file which is a installer just double click on this one so click on next this is the installation location if you want you can change that one according to your requirement there is no restrictions click on next install it will take some time uh, to install this one uh, it needs uh, um, the admin rights i clicked on that one okay it will take uh, several uh, minutes uh, to complete uh, installation of this one installation is done yeah uh, this uh, jenkins uh, runs by default uh, local host 8080 port okay so open this one and uh, local host 8080 HTTP colon localhost 8080 we'll see why it is not so it will take a few seconds to up the Jenkins server it runs by default 8080 port so I typed localhost colon 8080 and we got this page it's saying please copy the password from either location or paste it below so it is uh, looking for uh, administrative password which is available uh, under this uh, location uh, c colon where we installed okay we will open that folder we'll see so c drive program files and jenkins open jenkins secrets so in this one uh, initial uh, admin uh, password it is looking for this one open this one control a else uh, you can take uh, control c 
paste over this screen click on continue button okay Uh, after this screen uh, it will give uh, another screen uh, where we can uh, um, the, give the username our username password and uh, email id i did already that's why it is not asking okay here uh, plugins customer customize uh, jenkins uh, plugin extended jenkins with additional features to support uh, many different needs okay here two options are there install uh, suggested plugins or select uh, plugins to install we'll go ahead with this one only so it will take uh, one one two to three minutes to complete uh, in uh, completing the all plugins uh, it's almost done downloading the plugins if you see folders time stampers it's done now it is asking to create the username password confirm password full name and email address we have to provide all those things so simple i will give test user password also test confirm test email id full name test user contacts click on save and continue okay it's asking to save the username and password http colon localhost colon 8080 this is the instance configuration jenkins url is this one save use start using jenkins click on this one yeah finally we landed on the home page of jenkins these are the options if you see new item people build history after building yeah i will explain all those things so my views credentials if you yeah in real time credentials will be in real time projects credentials will be there uh, only with credentials only we can log in into this uh, jenkins so only authorized persons uh, will log in into this one okay that authorization also depends upon the project so in project also admin access will be there user access system access will be there system resource okay uh, lockable resources new view so this is a build queue okay so uh, we will welcome to jenkins right we will create a simple new job to create the job we have to click on a new item so enter an item name that means uh, uh, this is uh, uh, what is that job my first uh, job i uh, i typed my first job you can uh, give any name okay this is a freestyle project there are many options are there like a multiple uh, configuration project uh, generally we use in real time folders uh, github organization uh, multi branch pipelines are also there just click on uh, okay wow it's created a first uh, jenkins job so these are the settings uh, options uh, general source code management uh, build triggers uh, build environment uh, build uh, post build actions so if you want you can give some uh, description generally in real time they will give uh, we will give uh, specific to a project or source code related description here this is a demo purpose that's why i am giving my first job as a description these are the options okay uh, uh, if it is a github project we can check this checkbox come down source code management is there if uh, if you have git url we can click uh, on this radio button so repository url we can we can mention and uh, if you have any credentials uh, we can add those credentials by clicking this one uh, and we can also mention the branch whether it is a master branch or a development branch or feature branch uh, different branches uh, uh, will be there we can uh, configure those branches okay so if it is not a git uh, we can uh, uh, check uh, this radio button uh, as a subversion it will ask build uh, triggers uh, yeah so many options are there right we can see okay, we, we will we will do uh, we will choose according to our requirement in real time 
okay so build environments so delete workspace before build starts so every time whenever build starts it will create a workspace so that next build if you want we can delete that one so that it will be clean this is apply save changes apply and i clicked on save so we created one simple job that is my first job so if you want to run this job here one option is there build now click on this one okay i clicked so here it is it came red console okay uh, that means build is failed click on this one and uh, if you want to see what is the problem why this build got failed go to console output we will see that one so it will give complete error logs by going through this one we can fix and we can identify issue and we can fix that one here it is saying uh, uh, illegal argument exception git repository we clicked but we didn't enter the url that's why it got failed we can change the configurations again go back to jenkins dashboard okay uh, this is uh, this is our first uh, job click on this one Config, configure come down this is the git right we can delete it so just uh, check this one we are not doing anything here also okay none apply the changes save the save the changes again uh, rebuild it what is this one go to jenkins dashboard and uh, click on uh, my first uh, job uh, the, we can see the again here uh, build now okay click on build now see this is uh, blue color that means uh, build is successful go if you want to see the logs see started by test user who started the job that also it prints uh, running as a system or admin we are running as a system right building in workspace this is the one and uh, finished with success that's why color is uh, uh, blue otherwise uh, it will be red okay thank you for watching this video if you are not uh, subscribed to this channel please subscribe it now thank you